Yo, uh, Guan, hope you're having a great day. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to update Studio One to Studio One Five. And honestly, this will work for any version of Studio One moving into any version of Studio One. I've used this process to go from Studio One artist version or whatever I got with my PreSonus audio box like five years ago to the Studio One 4 professional version. And then I use this process to go from Studio One 4 to Studio One 5. It's very, very easy, very, very straightforward. It's not gonna take a lot of time. So stay through to the end. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed, okay? So let's get straight into this. This isn't gonna take very long this is a very very easy peasy video okay so the first thing you need to do is go to presonus.com now when you when you get here you may be wondering okay how do i get to my profile how do i get to my downloads well in the top right hand corner here there's a very small login button honestly this should be a little bit bigger but if you click over here then it will either automatically log you in which it did for me or you will be taken to a page where you can enter your details so that you can log in to personas and have access to all your downloads and all your purchases now once you have purchased studio one five or whichever studio one you're upgrading to it will show up in your profile now i'm going to go to my profile and i will have to blur some things out don't worry about that i'm just blurring out my email so i don't get spam and stuff like that and my serial keys for my products basically so let's get over there let's actually scroll down past my face and my email so here we'll see my recent purchases so we got studio one for professional and then we got studio one five professional now if i go into studio one five professional first of all it's going to show me my serial number up top which i'm going to now go over there so you can no longer see it and i no longer have to blur it and it's going to give me a download installer for windows okay now with this all I need to do is click this download installer. I don't need to go here and show all these bundled downloads because I believe with this download installer, it's going to download all these bundled downloads anyways, if you need to download them. Okay. So you just click here and it will, it will download the installer and then you click open on that and you go through the installer and follow those instructions okay i'm not going to do that in this video because i don't think it's necessary it's very very easy to follow the instructions but the great thing about this yeah the most important thing you probably want to know is can you still access your old files okay can you still access your old projects and what have you and your old plugins do you need to set everything up again the answer is yes and no so yes you can access your old files and all your old plugins no you don't need to sort set everything up again which is it's absolutely beautiful the way this was done and this is why i had to make this video because i was like this is such a smooth process so let me show you what happened so this is studio one five now this is i believe this is probably the last song that i made in studio one four and haven't yet brought over to studio one five i'm not 100 percent sure on that but any further back like four months ago thinking about me was definitely in studio one four so basically it's got every single track that i've ever created yeah and this happened when i when i upgraded from the previous version to studio one four it's got every studio one track that i've ever created and you can easily go and search through there and find them in your recent files and can you open them yes of course you can otherwise they wouldn't show it to you here but the thing is once you open your studio one track in studio one five or whichever one you're upgrading to right about now and you save it you can't revert back to it in the older version of Studio One. So keep that in mind. That might be important to you, it might not. Honestly, I'm just gonna use Studio One Five, so there'll be no reason for me to go back to Studio One Four. So I don't need to worry about that, but I just wanted to let you know just in case. So that's how you get 
Studio One updated to the newest version. Just install the newest version and use that. Now, you will still have Studio One 4 on your system. For example, I've got Studio One, where's Studio One 4? I can't even see right about now. Here's Studio One 2, which is the original one that I got with my pre Sonus audio box. And we will have Studio One 4 here as well. I am just going blind. I'll just type in Studio One in here and you'll see that come up very, very easily. You'll see Studio One 4. So if you want to save some space on your PC, then you may want to actually get rid of Studio One 4. Now, is Studio One 4 here? Yes, there we go. Studio One 4 right there, so I can still open that and all that sort of stuff. And in order to uninstall that, you'll go to Windows and go to Settings. Come on, Windows. Why you got to take so long for me? <laughs> let's, let's speed this up, all right? Let's speed this up, mate. So you go to Settings, and then you want to go to basically uninstall or install programs or uninstall and repair programs. So here we go, apps. So here you'll be able to uninstall and do all that sort of stuff. So we're going to apps and then you basically need to wait for this to load because it's just taking ages. It's not showing me anything right about now. And I don't know if that's because I'm recording or just because Windows is taking ages to work. Okay, now we got some stuff. So you'd scroll down or you'd click in here and you type Studio One. I can't do that right now because everything's taking <laughs> ages to actually work and uh, me clicking in here is even taking ages for that to come up. So you type in Studio One 4 or Studio One, whichever version you was using, and then there will be an uninstall button on here as well, which I wish I could show you but I'd have to wait like another five to 10 minutes for this to come up and for me to be able to show you that. But I'm sure you'll be able to figure out. Okay, here we go. Now things are working. Now, if I type in Studio One 4 here, here we go, you can click on that. And if we click on that, we'll have this uninstall option right there, okay? So that's how you uninstall the previous version of Studio One. Now, I haven't done that before, so I don't know what kind of consequences you may run into from uninstalling the previous version of Studio One, because I haven't done that even for this Studio One 2 from like three years ago. There's Studio One 4, Jesus Christ, my eyes are terrible. <laughs> so I don't know what will happen with that. I don't know if maybe you'll stop seeing your projects or what have you. I have no idea. So let me know in the comment section down below, actually, that'll be really, really helpful. Let me know if you uninstalled. And my question of the day is what Studio One version are you coming from? And what Studio One version are you going to? Which one are you upgrading to? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already got Studio One, I'll leave a link down below to Studio One. And if you're using Studio One for recording your vocals like I do, I've also got my Spotify ready vocal mixing template for Studio One linked in the description down below, or you can go to jcarray.com forward slash vocal templates. Okay, that template will get your song sounding Spotify ready, get your vocals sounding clean, clear and beautiful before you even get to the mixing stage so that you can understand what your vocals are going to sound like and you can get your vocals to sound Spotify ready and ready to upload to Spotify and release to the world. So definitely check that out if you haven't done so already. Link down below. Now, in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. And I hope to see you there. Peace out.